channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I've been a part-time reseller since 2018. And today we have a 50 pound thread up mystery rescue box unboxing for you. If you did not see my last unboxing video, I did explain in detail about this. So I am an event planner for a corporate company and in the spring we have an Earth Day clothing swap that we have for our associates where they can come and shop for free. They can take whatever they want. We hang everything up. It's like a boutique. It's really fun um, and it's a big hit every time. But to supplement donations, just to make sure we have enough to make it a success, every year we order a few thread up mystery boxes um, to supplement, like I said. So when they were running their, ThreadUp was running their 30% off Black Friday sale, I did go ahead and scoop up one of the 50 pound mystery boxes for the clothing swap. So I did not pay for this with my own money. I paid for it with my corporate card for the company. So all of this inventory that I'm going to be showing to you guys today, I'm not actually keeping. However, I am going to go through it as if I were to have sourced this for myself and if I were keeping it. So I'm going to talk about things like I would sell this, I would take this to buy, sell, trade, I would donate this, etc. Um, but just know that in the end, every single piece, no matter how great it is, is going to the clothing swap. So we are going to go ahead and jump into this. Let's see if I can find out where it came from. All right, so this one came from Phoenix, Arizona. I can't remember where my last one came from, but um, if you haven't already watched that, I'll see if I can remember to link that video here. Uh, the last one, spoiler alert, uh, was terrible up until like the last quarter of it. And I have a suspicion that the people at ThreadUp like to play games with people and put all the good stuff on the bottom, but I have definitely seen unboxings where the good stuff's on the top. I think it was the Jack Valentine channel, they did the 25 piece women's boxes and Jack's first piece that he pulled out was a styled piece. I think it was new with tags if I remember correctly. So obviously take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, we'll go ahead and jump into this. My dogs are at my feet. So if you see me stumble, that's why. All right, so these are traditionally $140 plus $9.99 shipping plus tax. But like I said, this was a Black Friday deal. I want to say it was 30% off. Um, so I will put either text or a screenshot of what we actually paid for this box on the screen here. All right, I think I'm going to have to... These flaps always get in my way. I think I'm gonna have to tear this off. Alrighty, so typically in these boxes, we get a lot of mall brands like Loft, Banana Republic, things like that. So that's kind of what I'm expecting, but of course it would be nice if we got some more trendy brands. The We do have an ar array of ages that work at my company, but there are a lot of like Gen Z and millennials and specifically like really cute, like trendy Gen Z and millennials. I am not one of them. I Y'all, side note, I started at this company when I was 23. So I was, you know, raised to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. And so when I started at this company, I was on the younger end of the spectrum and I was the one like mamming and surring people. I got in the elevator the other day and there was a male new hire. He was on his like new hire scavenger hunt or whatever. And I was just making small talk and I was like, oh, are you doing the new, uh, new hire scavenger hunt? And he was like, yes, ma'am. Like I have officially been there long enough to go from the one mamming people to being mammed. Of course, I did not say like, don't call me ma'am. Cause I used to hate when people did that to me, but I was like, oh. I am only maybe 10 years older than you. Like, no, do not call me ma'am. I do respect the good manners though. Anyways, that was a side sidebar that was probably unnecessary. First piece is down east, size small. This looks like maybe a more mature brand, although I do love that cute little like Peter Pan collar. It's kind of precious. Never heard of this brand. I feel like I've seen it, but I don't know, I could have made that up. I don't know, I feel like some cute like, like trendy girl could make this stylish, but anyways. That one I would probably put to, I'd say maybe like buy, sell, trade. Uh, this one, I don't know how to say that. No, it's a fancy word, but 
This would be one that I would probably look up just to make sure it was nothing, but it is just a pair of trousers. So I would probably take that one to buy, sell, trade. It says requirements, another mature brand. It's just a cardigan, polka dots. I would take that one to buy, sell, trade. And when I say buy, sell, trade, if I were taking these to buy, sell, trade, we've got a few in the area. Plato's Closet for like the younger, trendier pieces. We've got Urban, no, Uptown Cheapskate, which is really similar to Plato's, but just like a little bit of an older crowd. Still really trendy and really cute stuff. And then we also have a style encore for more like mature pieces. Um, so yeah, those would be the three that we would take them to. This is the kind of stuff I get in these boxes all the time, loft. This is the Julie trouser, Miller just pair of slacks. I would take that one to buy, sell, trade. All right, this is Graver by Susan Graver, another mature brand, size extra small petite. Cute, but probably dated. So buy, sell, trade. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, bless me. Looks like we have a lot of pants in the top here. This is another loft Julie trouser. Oh, bless me. So I would take those to buy, sell, trade. It's not looking too good so far, guys. This is St. John. These are corduroy, which I've heard from watching other people's videos that corduroy is trending. Buy, sell, trade. There must be something dusty in here. Oh, I might have to go blow my nose. All right, we've got more mall brands. These are the Kirby Highway Skinny, size 27 or a size four. Another corduroy piece, buy, sell, trade. All right, I gotta blow my nose. Come help mama. Come on, come help mama, come on. Come on, that's a good boy. That's a good boy, yeah. All right, and we're back. All right, Banana Republic, size extra, extra small. This is cute. This one I would take to buy, sell, trade. Lay down, Bentley. Gloria Vanderbilt. This is very clearly all stuff that they did not accept, probably from a few different people. Old Navy, buy, sell, trade. What is this? Express, White House Black Market, something like that. Yeah, White, White House Black Market, the slim, size 12 short, buy, sell, trade. Banana Republic Medium. It's cute. I'm sure somebody will snatch that up at the clothing swap, but I would have taken that to buy, sell, trade. Limited, size 12. Buy, sell, trade. That's super dated with that pinstripe look. I do work in an office where we wear business casual, but there are like the executives and stuff where obviously elevated business casual or business professional, depending on what they have going on. This is Gap, it's just like a chambray button up. I would take that to buy, sell, trade. All right, first new tags piece. This is Lost and Wander, which is a boutique brand. Super cute. This one I may have considered selling myself specifically because we're in the winter months right now. Um, Looks like it retailed for $72. It's the Navajo sweater and it's a size small slash medium. So somebody will snatch that up at the clothing swap, I'm sure. I could have guessed that this is what this is. Pleone size large. I wanna say this is sold at like Nordstrom maybe. I could be wrong. That's a really pretty blue though. Gives that like obsidian blue. This is H&M Divided. Just another pair of pinstripe trousers. These are a size zero. I would take those to buy, sell, trade. Just 
the basic tee from Loft by Sell Trade. See some kind of jacket in here. I'm hopeful. She in. That one I would probably just donate. She in I'll take to buy sell trade if it's like really cute and really trendy, even if it's garbage quality. Loft. These are like a skinny, not quite a trouser, more of like a pant. Okay, so our first good piece. North Face. Just like a lightweight jacket. The logo does have some wear to it. But if this were for me, I would definitely sell this. Looks like it might be missing a drawstring. But somebody at the clothing swap will love that, I'm sure. This feels like a wrap dress. It is. This is by Halogen. This is the kind of stuff that people wear to work, like around my age. I don't know though. People definitely be uh, pushing the limits when it comes to the dress code. You'll see like Doc Martens, Golden Gooses, like lug sole boots. I mean, you name it, you see. Sometimes we'll see like people wearing pandas, like the black and white Nikes. Their pants by Sell Trade. All right, I gotta pull this out. Yeah, this is awesome. This is a North Face jacket. Uh-oh, it's my size. Typically, I keep one item from the clothing swap each year. Oh, it's new with tags. Dang, I wish this was the box that I got for myself. That's amazing. Retail $249. I'm gonna have to try this one on. The perks of setting up the clothing swap is I do get first dibs on things, but to keep it fair, I typically only pick out one or two items. This might have to be my one item. That's awesome. That's definitely downfilled. I can tell. It's just like that heavy fabric. All right. I don't know where this is sold. I see it all the time at the thrift store, size medium. That would probably go to buy, sell, trade in the spring. Oh, heck. What is that? I don't think anybody's gonna want this. This is Venus, but it's got this like dated, it's actually damaged. I think it's missing. No. Yeah, some of the stitching is loose, but I mean, we'll still put it in the swap, but I doubt anybody will take that. These are Liz Claiborne, size six, by Sell Trade. There are a ton of people, like when we get donations for the clothing swap every year, we get so much Loft and J. Crew. That's like the majority of what people wear at my company. This is Loft and Banana Republic too. This will be snatched up quickly, I'm sure. This is like grown into such a big event that like technically it doesn't open until eight. And I've learned that I actually have to go in to like open the room and unlock it on the first day by like 730 because there will be a line at the door of people waiting to get in to get first dibs. Kim and Cammy, I know they sell this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those. So that would go to buy, sell, trade. See an Athleta. This is interesting. This one, if the box were for me, I definitely would be selling on my own. Size medium, it's hooded. It's kind of got like this like faux wrap vibe. I feel like this would be really good for somebody that was nursing because you could just pop one out. I don't know, that's probably inappropriate to say that, but that's what they do. Calvin Klein, size extra large. This is giving like pajamas. So that would go to buy, sell, trade. We're getting through this one kind of quickly. We're about halfway done already. Gloria Vanderbilt, size eight, by Sell Trade. There's definitely a demographic at my work that gives Gloria Vanderbilt vibes, so I think those will probably be pretty popular. Max Studio, size small. It's a little like surplus sweater. Arizona, size seven, so those are juniors. 
quick coffee break. And the limited, it's got this like speckled look to it, size medium. Divided H&M, pair of like jogger pants. Fila, it's got the spell out on the leg. Leggings, if I sell trade if we were going there. This is cute. Jones & Co, size small. My arms hurt from holding these up. Tell me I need to go to the gym without telling me I need to go to the gym. These are heavy. All right, these are decent. I'd probably sell these on my own if I were selling anything out of this box. Cabbie, size 12. They're thick though. They're almost like a, is it Ponty Knit when it's thick? What do these remind me of? They're kind of similar to Beta Brand, the way they feel. A little more structured than Beta Brand. They are like a wide leg, which is in right now. So yeah, I probably would have sold those on my own. Hollister, size extra small. There are definitely some girlies that work with me that could wear this. I'm at that age where I'm like, mm, they look like children, all the new hires. I've graduated to the veteran slash elderly side of the company. Forever 21 size small. Probably would have just donated that one. More Forever 21. I think this is supposed to be a mini dress, but that is mini. The definition of mini. This I think is sold at like either boutiques or TJ Maxx or something. Mine. Crop. It's got an open back. Probably would have taken that one to Play-Doh's. I love H81. I think that's an H&M brand, isn't it? Size 26. I think these are a linen blend. These I probably would have just donated. They're pretty worn. J. Crew Factory, size zero. It's a little tank top. Just a little no-name brand, Passports. I would have donated this one moon color probably from amazon definitely feels like amazon oh that's ugly i'm sorry that was rude i apologize if you think this is cute it's just not my vibe we have not gotten very many new attacks on this one but that north face is kind of the only redeeming piece as you wish i can see somebody wearing this to work so that would probably be a great clothing swap piece, or will be. Marona, extra small, just like a basic. Loft, extra small. That's cute. I saw a meme the other day, and it was like, I can't remember if it was J. Crew or Banana Republic. I think it was Banana Republic, and it was like, is Banana Republic getting cuter or am I getting older? I was like, I can relate to that so much because I definitely think that some of these mall brands have some cute stuff and I would not have thought that five to 10 years ago. Forever 21, little dress, I feel a tag. All right, it's just a boutique piece. The brand is Miracle. Size medium, large, no retail price. It's just like this loose knit cardigan with the fringe on the bottom. I would take that to buy, sell, trade. Definitely thought this was gonna be junk, but this is Sunday in Brooklyn. This is an anthropology brand. It is white, so we'll have to inspect it to make sure there's no flaws. 
All right, this is Logo Lavish. I wonder if this is, this has to be part of the logo by Lori Goldstein or Goldstein, which is a QVC brand. I think McThrifty sells it. I have not had good luck with it though, so I don't pick it up. That's kind of cute. That would probably go to buy, sell, trade. Okay, so this is the front. It's a Crofton Barrow, but this is the back. So probably we'll be donating that one. I don't think we'll be putting that in the clothing swap. All right, this is Denim & Co. Very dated. It's giving 90s. It's got to be a LuLaRoe. Yep, LuLaRoe. I just want to know who would wear that. Target, A New Day, size small. There's also a ton of Target clothes that we get in the clothing swap. Don't know what this is. It's not the blank brand that they sell in Anthropology, but this does intrigue me because it's tacked on and it's just like a ribbed basic. I might look this one up to see if it's anything. With such a vague label like that though, blank. Probably gonna have to use Google image search. This is fun. American Eagle, newer tag. That would go to buy, sell, trade. The rest ain't looking good. Color story, I think they sell this at Ross. Buy small, but it is a basic, so maybe somebody will want that. Simply Vera, Kohl's, pants. Blended. It's a little striped tank top. You know, my shoulders are on fire from holding all this up. Never heard of it, but it is plus size, so that's nice. This from my box, I'd probably keep this to sleep in. It's a 3X. This was in somebody's closet for a hot minute. Y'all remember when these were in? I owned one. No, it wasn't like a leopard one like this, but it definitely gave deer vibes. My husband hated it. Solitaire, size 1X. This is really pretty. I'm sure somebody will snatch that up. Mauve, size 2X. I wonder if these are all from the same donator. This is a Cherokee blazer, size 14. Hmm, these may be something. This is the rugby line of Ralph Lauren, size medium. It's got those like inner knee patches. Gives like an equestrian vibe. Morona. Tell you what, I'm glad this was not mine. Mine was definitely better than this one. I mean, granted that North Face has a retail of 249 but resale will probably be like a hundred and something which is probably around what I paid for this box so I'm glad because I, I ordered them both on the same day and they came from the same warehouse and came within two days of each other so I'm glad I picked the one I picked this is H&M size small that's cute it's got a stain looks like it Levi's 514s, 31 waist, tray six. It's a 
through 21, but it's got a big stain on it. Another plus size piece, probably from the same owner, 3X. Like a romper with a cape. <laughs> All right, we got a Zara piece. I'm sure the girlies at work will love this. Last few pieces. Old Navy. Gap. Derek Hart, which they sell at Ross. And last piece. Willie Smith, new with tags. I don't know where they sell this other than TJ Maxx, so. All right, that was a doozy. Uh, the North Face would probably pay for most of the box. Other than that, I don't know that any profit would be had. Um, I mean, you could probably get some back from Buy, Sell, Trade, but I don't think anything else would have been worth listing other than maybe that North Face and, and the Athleta piece. I forgot about that one. But that's literally it. So this is why I always say I don't use this for solid sourcing opportunity. I just do it for fun. It was kind of like a wild ride. It was not great in the beginning. Found the North Face and the Athleta around, right around the middle. Junk at the end. So anyways, it is what it is. You never know what you're going to get with these. Um, you know, you have to accept that when you order them that you could be wasting your money. But hopefully that North Face fits me and I can take that as my one piece from the clothing swap. Because, yeah, I have a Patagonia, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, granted, I haven't taken my winter clothes out of storage yet. I've just been buying new clothes, like new sweaters and stuff from Old Navy. So, don't recommend that uh, that plan. But, um, it's all my winter clothes are, like, in storage way behind a bunch of my inventory. So, I'm, like, dreading actually having to dig that out. So, I've just been... Like, I'd say like once every two weeks buying a new sweater from Old Navy and getting by. But I hope my Patagonia's in there because I just got it last year. And I'm going to be bummed if it's gone. But anywho, uh, yeah, that's it. So all this stuff will be going to work for the clothing swap. I do plan on getting one more thread up order for the clothing swap. And it will be a 400 pound mystery box. Which I also plan to unbox for you guys on this channel. Just to show like what you can get in those. I have a theory with the... 400 pound boxes that when you order the 400 pound boxes they have a stack of like really good boxes and a stack of boxes like these and with each 400 pound box order you get three of the junk boxes and one of the like ballin boxes to make up for it so that's my theory I could be wrong but it's fun to try to figure out like their process so if anybody works for thread up and has the intel drop it below in the comments or dm me I can share anonymously but yeah i'm dying to know how that works but anyways i'm just rambling at this point so i will let you guys go thank you so much for tuning in hope you have a great day